Hello viewers, welcome to Animal World. In this video we are going to talk about 50 unusual animals you must see before die part 5. Number 21. Hummingbird Hawk Moth. First described by the naturalist Carl Linnaeus, this is not your everyday moth. Not quite as cute as the poodle moth described later on this list. It is instead distinguished by its exceptional size, it's as large as a hummingbird, and prominent reddish wings. Where to spot a hummingbird hawk moth? You can see the hummingbird hawk moth in Scotland, Wales, Ireland and England, where it's often found feeding in gardens and woodlands. Number 22. Fossa. The fossa looks so much like a cat that naturalists and official descriptions re- Number 23. Venezuelan poodle moth. This large moth is covered with hair that makes it resemble a poodle. Unlike a poodle, however, it has wings and is attracted to your porch light, just like any other moth. The general consensus seems to be that this is the cutest moth ever, and we wholeheartedly agree. Where to spot a Venezuelan poodle moth? The moth's origin story is right in its name. But what people may not realize is that it was only recently discovered in Venezuela just a few years ago in 2009. Number 24. Penis Snake. It's hard not to laugh at how aptly named this snake is. Its head really does look like human male anatomy. But in another way, its name is misleading. It's an amphibian, not a reptile like a snake. Where to spot a penis snake? Found in Brazil, the penis snake was discovered by Sir Graham Hales in rainforest ecosystems. It can be most easily found at the mouth of the Amazon River, where it feeds on bugs and small fish. Number 25. Japanese Spider Crab. With their long, spider-like legs, spider crabs look like the villain in a comic book series. They're also exceptionally large and long-living. They can top 40 pounds, with their legs reaching over 12 feet in length and can survive for 50 years or more, sometimes even for a century. Where to spot a Japanese spider crab? Although these crabs, found off the coast of Japan, are not dangerous hunters, they are carnivorous scavengers and will devour any dead fish or mammal that reaches their habitat on the ocean floor. That's all for today's video. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.